Designing websites has always been and will always be a lot of hard work, and that's not gonna change. But just because it's hard work doesn't mean it needs to be super complex. This is a six step method that allows you to use AI and no code tools to build stunning websites quicker and more efficiently than ever before. Let's get into it. Step one of this web design process is to collect. And the two things we're looking to collect is inspirational images, visual inspiration. And the second thing we're looking to collect is keywords based on those inspirations. These two things together are gonna help give us a visual direction for our project. Now that we have the images and we have the text, we have collected all of our visual cues and keywords to move us into step two, which is gonna be to prompt. So we're gonna use Mid Journey's AI and we're gonna prompt it with a bunch of keywords, the keywords that we've collected, as well as the images to start building out a little bit of a visual direction to inspire us. It's not what we're gonna go with, but we're gonna use it as the basis, the kind of kicking off the project to find that visual direction. All right, mid-journey is done. We're gonna open up our result here in the browser and see what we get. These are looking really, really beautiful, really clean, really modern, definitely along the lines of what I was thinking. So with that being said, I'm gonna grab that image and just copy it to my desktop, come back over to Figma, and I'm going to grab that and drag it in as potentially the next step for our project. The next step in the process is to refine your designs inside of your design tool of choice. I'm using Figma, so I'm gonna jump back in and do some of that refinement work right now. All right, and we have finished up refining our design. We put in a lot of place filler text and images here, and uh, we used the inspiration we got from all of that prompting that we did. So you can see our final one over there. It looks pretty similar to the visual styles that we found. It matches the keywords that we researched, and it's pretty closely aligned, a little bit void of color, but pretty closely aligned with all of these mid-journey results that we got, and we have our refined design, and now we're ready to move on to the fourth step which is to generate imagery. All right, the next step is to generate imagery to fill out our refined design. And for that, we're gonna jump back over to Mid Journey. You can see we actually, from our previous explorations, we already had some pretty cool stuff from the inspirations that we fed it. So I really like this. I think this is gonna match the vibe of the site really, really well. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna upscale all of these upscale number one, number two, number three, number four. And then I'm, I want more variations of all of these as well because I love everything that's being built. We also had some variations of t-shirts down here. This is a little bit more friendly and this is matching that streetwear vibe that we had going. Now, from these images, it might make me change the color palette to match these images a little bit more. And we're gonna jump down and start seeing a lot of these be upscaled, okay? So uh, super beautiful, I'm gonna grab these open each one of them up in the browser so that we can start downloading all of the images that we need. All right, we finished up generating a bunch of images and there's some that aren't gonna work. Like for instance, this one has these strings and sweater things going directly into her face, but there's a lot of other really great options here. Like this one is absolutely amazing. Super cool streetwear style. And I took the color inspiration that we had here and actually re kind of like connected everything. So finding the elements that had that really, really crazy yellow color instead replaced it with more of this kind of cool neutral peach color. And we have lots of more like modern kind of streetwear tones that are happening. Now what I get to do is just start to mix and match and grab the elements that I love most. So for instance, we might instead move in here and upload or change the image. That's awesome. Let's just do the same thing here. And as we start to upload these images, they may or may not fit. That's okay, because we're gonna come back in and change things up a little bit. So let's just change that one. Now all the colors are actually starting to come together a little bit. So this one is our home decor one. Okay, so we had like women, we had men, we had home decor happening there. 
Let's do some spring looks in here. Um, and I actually really love the fact that it came up with these images and it put two, uh, like two images per, which is pretty cool. Kind of created these great little grids and profiles for us, which I really, really love. Um, I think that one we already used. So let's just grab some more of these. That one's kind of like our best shot. So we'll pop that in there. And again, fill this one up really quickly. Okay, so we have finished implementing all of this great AI-driven imagery into our project. Uh, and you can see it looks pretty great. The final product of this looks pretty awesome. Um, really, really themed, really, really branded, and also just has a lot of great content. But unfortunately, the problem is we still have a lot of these Lorem Ipsum, and that's gonna lead us to the fifth step, which is to generate not imagery this time, but words using ChatGPT. In step five, we're gonna generate more content, but this time it's not gonna be images we're generating, it's going to be words. We're gonna generate some copy using ChatGPT for our website, I'm gonna jump over and we have a couple of sections that really, really need some copy help here. We have our women's section, men's section and decor section and they are filled with Lorem Ipsum right now. So we're just gonna open up a fresh chat here inside of ChatGPT and we're gonna prompt ChatGPT and tell it what we're building here. Let's try that and see what ChatGPT gives us, okay? So we have some sections being built out right now. Really, really nice. Okay, so we have men's apparel, women's apparel, home decor. Uh, pretty good. Let's do that. Let's just grab this text. And again, we might want to riff on this a little bit more and kind of improve it. But we have our men's apparel going here. Love that. We have our women's apparel going right here. And we have our home decor section heading right there. Pretty good. Now we have actual content and that is as easy as it needs to be. If you have some updates and changes you want to make to that prompt in ChatGP to refine it and get it more on the nose of exactly what you want that copy to be, you can do so. But for us, this works really great. It's the easiest step of the process actually. Now we're moving on to the build. Last step of the process is to bring my design into a no-code tool. I'm going to be using Wix Studio for this build. So I've just jumped into Wix Studio. I've just create a brand new site from scratch. I could have used a template, but I don't really have to use a template because Wix Studio is so easy to use. I can actually even jump over here into the sections and start navigating through all of these awesome sections. And some of these might meet my needs right off the bat. Uh, out of the gate, I might have things that work exactly for me. For instance, we have those image and text sections. I might just grab those, pop that inside. I could open up my layers here and I can see that that section is up above. So I'm gonna drag it down here and I can duplicate that a couple of times. Now we have those sections taken care of, but I'm gonna jump right in and start building this thing out and I'll see you on the other side. All right, and we have done quite a bit of work already on our website, but you can see we changed all the styles, the colors, we added those into the website system. We also put some uh, actual animations that are happening um, as the so site loads and as we scroll down. So pretty cool interactions that are happening. And all this is done directly in the no-code tool. I touched absolutely zero code make this thing happen and this is the process to build websites well, there you have it a six step web design process to build amazing websites what do you think of this process are you going to start using it do you already use something like it do you do something completely different let me know down in the comments i'd love to start a little conversation between us web designers if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i do lots of videos about web design so maybe stick around by ringing that bell so you get notifications when videos like this one come out and if you're looking for more content Definitely check out this video or this video and I'll see you in the next one.